hey guys welcome back to the second part of the video where in the first part we were talking about disciplining a strong headed child or a strong willed child it can be there's no offense guys it can be any child so any child when try, when we are trying to discipline them they become strong headed that's what i mean they become stubborn they become mm, uh, they want to go against us so that's what i meant so coming back to the topic so as i finished i said there are two two things which we need to raise a kid with nature and nurture so that keeping that aside uh, uh, we have to discipline the spirited child because when we fail in uh the disciplining a child the parent child relationships doesn't go as well doesn't go as we plan or doesn't go as it has to be so the the children end up in doing poorly in school the or the child get some physical uh, health issues like because of the stress hormones in their body and they'll have increased levels of anxiety or depression to name them uh and they will definitely develop poor attachment styles which go on to affect their future relationships as well so how do we do this it's not a very tough thing as well okay so without breaking this like i mean without breaking the the child spirit without uh, hurting them a lot we need to do this the first thing is start early and be more stubborn than your child the first thing is very important you start early you don't you can't go and uh, start disciplining your 10 year old child you have to start from the beginning beginning yeah start early as early maybe even when they are months when they are one year because one year is the age where they can understand us so start from right from the age of one so start early and be more stubborn than your child i'm just highlighting it this a lot because we have to be more stubborn th- than our children so regardless of whether you don't have a strong willing child or the child is okay with you or whatever it is any it can be any child please be stubborn than your child whatever it is okay uh, so start applying household rules to them make some household rules and um, uh, like when the child comes and plays with the daddy's laptop be strong and say to your child no thank you daddy's laptop is not a toy for you to play so the way you answer them should stop them to go further and go to the next step of crying or making a chaos in the place so now if you have an older child um uh, start today like it's never too late okay maybe the child will uh, start refusing or give you more resistance because we started late but eventually or gradually they will realize that you're not easy to give up then it's not easy to get what they want so start to restart early that's what i mean then the second one allow your child a voice definitely uh, this is a strong point i always agree with allow your child a voice um you can always allow your child to ask you a question or raise a question but with respect which is very very important so encourage your child to ask a question and speak their mind but with respect yes with respect so when uh, uh, when 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 they start questioning you something even a silly thing please you can just say them all that i ask you to do is with respect whether it be to teacher his friend you your parents grandparents or anybody is friends all he needs to do is ask with respect talk with respect which is very 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 important um and you can also have a meaningful discussion with uh, between you and your child on why the rules are what they are you can have a household rules as we said earlier like uh, uh taking up the bed once they get up picking up their uh, glass after they drink their a boost or anything put it in the sink wash it and keep uh, pack their lunch bags or make some set of uh, rules which which it is applicable and you can have a meaningful discussion with your children 
because it means the rules are for what they have been uh, formed. That this is the thing. And the third one is model what you want to see. Do you understand? Model what you want to see. You want your child to pick up the trash and put it in the garbage and it applicable. it is applicable to us as well. I have to pick up the trash and put it in the garbage which my son will see me and do the same thing. So model what you want to see. You don't sit back and see TV and uh, order your child to pick up something and put it in the sink or make him to read which is not at all acceptable you sit with a child you read a book he will read a book you go to bed early he's going to go to bed early so model what you want to see and all these things these three things will come under something called holistic discipline because holistic discipline is something which uh, is not only is applicable for a child it's applicable for the entire family the husband, wife, the children, or the grandparents, or anybody who is at house. So this is applicable to the whole family because when the whole family does it, the child also does it with interest and make it happy, make it creative, um, appreciate the child, give him a hug and kiss because um, say I love you to, to him or her whenever it is possible, give a hug and kiss, uh, use your eye contact. So all this will make any sort of child disciplined and discipline is very, very important. And one day they will be leaders. Remember, our children today will be the leaders of tomorrow. As parents, we have the duty and the responsibility to help shape the strong will into a courageous individual who can help change the world for the better. Therefore, it is important to keep calm and have lots and lots and lots of patience and not make disciplining mistakes when parenting your strong-willed child. Yeah, And look at the fierce spirit as a good quality that will allow them to lead successful lives. So, uh, disciplining a child is never too late. If you have, haven't started it yet, please start it today. And uh, uh, thank you all for watching me. And uh, hope to see you all soon again with more such videos. And if you have any queries or if you want uh, any specific topic to be talked on please ping me below in comment section thank you so much and please subscribe my channel basics and beyonds thank you so much have a good day guys bye bye